Joining us this afternoon, Katie Torgerson. She's optical director, meaning she's responsible for the Kids Fund as far as the Lion Sight and Hearing Foundation is concerned. Uh, she joins us this afternoon. Katie, it's good to talk to you. Let's start by going back. Uh, talk about the pandemic when the schools were closed and our access to kids that we identify as, as needing glasses was really cut short. It had to be a very, very difficult time to deliver these services, right? Correct. Yeah, it was a really tough time. Um, while all of our staff here at the Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation were still working and able to safely um, maintain social distancing so that we could keep the programs running, the schools, on the other hand, were not. And so, therefore, um, our number one liaison with um, getting these kids the vouchers that they need is through their school nurse or school counselor. And since they were in office and kids were in school, we weren't getting the applications. Um, every once in a while, we may um, receive a request from a parent through our referral system, and we were able to hold their hand that way and get them the application and um, walk through the steps to get them their KEX voucher for the exam and eyeglasses. However, it's so much easier with having a school staff being that liaison. And if they weren't in the office, then we weren't able to get those vouchers in the kids' hands. So um, on average, we were maybe only giving about 10 to 15 vouchers a month, which on average, we're, we're doing about 60 to 75 vouchers a month. Wow. So that was the a huge uh, portion of kids that weren't getting exams. Wow. So when kids got back in the classroom, did it become kind of a catch-up game? I mean, a lot of kids were, were uh, you know, in theory, waiting for their classes and, and the service, right? Definitely. The fall of 2021 um, is about the time that I took over um, the program as the optical director, and we had an influx of applications because students were getting back into the classroom and we were getting more requests than we could keep up with, which was a good thing. Um, but we were able to um, kind of get back on our feet and um, streamline the process a bit, which was wonderful. And um, kids were still um, able to get the exams in a timely manner. And it was it was a, a crazy time there for the first few months of the school year, that's for sure. In your time as optical director, I know there have been some streamlining moves on behalf of the Oregon Lion Sight and Hearing Foundation and staff. One, uh, more kids are getting their glasses from the LEAP Lab, L-E-A-P. Tell us what the LEAP Lab is and why it's important that that is the source of uh, the, the vision uh, glasses and such that the kids are getting these days, some of them anyway. The Oregon Lion Sight and Hearing Foundation built the Lion's Eyeglass Assistance Program Lab, the LEAP Lab, in 2015 to address the high demand for um, eyeglasses that are needed throughout the state of Oregon. Um, and so we were able to create high quality, low cost eyewear for children and adults in Oregon. And children um, can be referred to their doctor just as normal to get their eye exam. And then the doctor um, uses a frame kit, a really nice, concise frame kit um, to offer the children to pick out their frames. It's a really quick process for the doctor and the child because sometimes children don't always have the longest attention span. And if they're having to look at, look through 500 frames on the frame board, that could take a really long time. So we have a really nice, concise kit of uh, 30 styles for kids to choose from. And then they're made in our Leap Optical Lab here in Portland. And most of the time with the kids' prescription, since we have a lot of their lenses in stock here, we can get the glasses made same day and mailed out to the doctor because we work with doctors all over the state of Oregon uh, through the KEX Kids Fund program. And um, I'd say 75% of the time we have the kids' prescription in hand. And so when we get that order, we could make the glasses, ship them out same day to that doctor, and the kids are seeing it just a couple of days after they got their exam. Yeah, and, and if we haven't said so, this was one of the first state-of-the-art charitable optical finishing labs, the LEAP Lab. That means the glasses cost less, and people like our listeners who are supporting this program with their do donations see their dollars go farther, right? Exactly. Um, our reimbursement rates that we provide the um, eye doctors that are in our network, they um, get a standard flat rate of reimbursement. However, when, use, when using our Leap Optical Lab, KEX reimburses the lab um, 
the same amount. However, the lab doesn't charge as much. So a pair of glasses that typically would have um, cost 80 to $150 um, through the KEX Kids Fund program, our lab can do them for just $40. That's so fantastic. on average, we're saving about $40 per kid that goes through our program. Really, really great. We're talking with Katie Torgerson. She's optical director at the Hearing Lion Sight and Hearing Foundation, watching over the Kids Fund, uh, uh, providing glasses and hearing aids for kids in need since 1987. You probably know that if you're a longtime KEX listener. But Katie, after one year in the hot seat in, in overseeing this operation, what are your feelings about taking care of uh, as many kids as we're able to care for? What, how does it strike you? Oh, I am just so fulfilled with the work that I do and helping the kids get exams and eyeglasses. I feel just honored to be on this amazing team, the board that we work with, and um, it's awesome. I love, um, I love just knowing that we're able to fill those gaps for those kids that can't get um, glasses through their insurance or if they don't have insurance or their families can't meet the co-pays that their insurance requires. A lot of times those are the applications we get where a family can't afford it's going to cost them $120 in co-pays and they're going to have to save up for several months to get those. And so that's where our program steps in and um, I, I just feel so honored to be a part of it. What happens in the summer? I mean, the schools are closed. Are we st still getting to kids in the summertime? We sure are. Um, a lot of schools have um, school summer programs um, that um, we still work or we keep in touch with the school nurses and school counselors then, as well as we do um, get parents that reach out to our organization directly, not having to go through the school. They can reach out to us. Um, there's a little bit more leg work we've got to do to um, get that voucher in the kid's hand, but um, we're able to do it. And if anybody in the summertime or any winter break or if they're homeschooled, we can still work with the families directly. Katie Zwerg is an optical director of the uh, Oregon Line Sight and Hearing Foundation working for the Kids Fund, which you have supported over all of these years, friends. Thank you so much for that. And Katie, thanks for your good work. Uh, I, I know it must be a thrill to change lives, uh, literally, by helping these kids get their glasses. And uh, we really appreciate your, your hard work in that effort. Thanks for talking to us today.